Hey guys, it's me, Don Chin. I've got a little late night um, reading that I'm doing. Uh, this is a really nice uh, limited edition of She Haikyo by the uh, Billy Tucci and his his team. His wife, Deb, helps with Phil. So I got this one. Um, it's, it seems like it's been like at least a month ago. But I haven't had a chance to read it, but it's really sweet. It's got Billy's autograph on it. And uh, he's going to be on my show this upcoming Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Coffee and Comics. Um, and we're also going to have Marvin Nguyen, who does The Edge. And a rabbi from another planet. He's going to be telling us about uh, winding up his campaign. But... Uh, Billy's going to be doing the She Omnibus that's going to be launching soon, and I'm sure people will want to talk about that. So I've got that one in my queue, and I'm going to put this one right up here, um, up here by this light, and I'm going to show you why in just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, Billy's got all sorts of cool stuff with his campaign. Um, that's a print. We had some trading cards that uh, are in another location, but... Uh, very successful campaign. Uh, this finally came, which is Starblades by Kyle Ritter. Now it's published by All Caps. And um, the artwork looks great. Uh, hopefully that'll uh, be a fun read. And we've got Shadow Century by Eric Ninoltowski. Uh Eric was just on my show. He's been on my show a couple times now, but I'm almost done with this book. I really like it a lot. He's got a the definitely like a 90s image style to his artwork and um, story is really good it's got a spiritual element to it and Eric uh, shipped with trading cards poster uh, and this has like a, uh, a really cool metal bookmark that was one of the perks but I just backed this second issue campaign um, I think he's still got early bird tier up where you can get all all the variant cover editions. Uh, like for $125, I think. So that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, Eric signed this this issue. Thanks, Eric. Uh, this is something that I uh, just became aware about hmm, probably in the last year. I, I used to work with Sam Keith back in the... Uh, 80s with the Black Belt Hamsters and I've always loved Sam's work. I followed him when he was doing um, inking for Matt Wagner on a book called uh, Grendel um, or Mage, I'm sorry. Mage was the uh, the guy that wore the black Shazam shirt had a magic baseball bat. Anyway, so Matt uh, Keith always wanted to do his own artwork you know, he didn't really just want to be an inker, so he started to do his own thing, and he got some indie work, and then he kind of took off when he, he got hired with, with DC and Marvel doing Wolverine and Marvel Comics Presents and Ghost Rider and cool stuff like that. But this is a crossover that he did called um, Batman the Max Arkham Dreams, and it was supposed to be a five-issue miniseries that was a collaboration between IDW and DC. Um, but I heard that it, the first three issues came out and then it took forever to get uh, the last two issues out, which are four and five, which I have here. There's different variant covers, I think, for all these, if you want to get them. But um, I'm enjoying this. I'm, we've, done, we've done some Max parodies in the past. With Parody Press and um, something that I've always wanted to try to perhaps do again. So stay tuned. We might we might have some have fun announcements regarding um, the Max and Sam Keith. And can't really say too much other than that right now. <laughs> That's how about that for a tease. Um, and then another book series that I'm enjoying is. Uh, the Tribulation Task Force Secret Files by my friend Bill Rop, and he's been doing this really great um, 
looking full color comics. There's quite a few different issues of Tribulation Task Force out. There's a new uh, crowdfunding book called Parables that he's doing that I strongly suggest you support. But these books are by um, Starcross Comics. And uh, they're very, very good quality. I mean, they're really nicely drawn. And if you like superhero team books, um, kind of with the spiritual flair to it, I definitely recommend Tribulations Task Force. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the She Haikyo cover. All right, so hopefully this will work. I got this cover because it glows in the dark. How cool is that? So I think Billy said it took quite a bit of research to get the uh, the right printer to do that. It's hard to find people that are doing... Oh, sorry, it's kind of out of focus right now. But uh, yeah, you can see the uh, she outline. It almost kind of looks like, like Charlie's Angels, you know. Turn that back on again. Yeah, so on. Actually, let me put it down here. I'm going to put it down here and turn it off so you guys can see a little better. That's pretty cool, Billy. I like that. I wonder how long it'll light up like that. Anyways, guys, you have a great day. Keep reading comics, and we'll talk to you next time.